But America's commander in Iraq has been fighting signs of progress in the surge of U.S. troops. Our Alan Pizzi went along. Mr. Bob. With barely six weeks to go before his report on how well or not things are going in Iraq, General David Petraeus went out to show off a success story. Haifa Street is an example of how the general's counterinsurgency plan is supposed to work. It used to be another way of saying utter chaos. In January this year, it was the scene of the bitterest and bloodiest street fighting that Baghdad has experienced. Hey. These days, it's a good place not just for Iraqis, okay, but for the general to practice street politics and PR. America is very good. America is good? Can you say that for the camera here? Monkey pull the camera. Say it. There will be no significant security incidents here since the end of April. And credit for the change is put down in part to involving local leaders rather than lavishing money around. The big money projects to rebuild Iraq have so far proved less than impressive. It's the small ones that seem to do the best, street by street, block by block, a long, slow process. But the peaceful veneer of Haifa Street is misleading. The insurgents merely retreated across the Tigris River to infest another neighborhood the U.S. military must clear and rebuild. The hope is that the example of Haifa Street will accelerate the process. What's good about this area is you can see what happens once the security is established. Residents moving back to apartments abandoned during the fighting agree. Uh, as the Americans stay here, mm -hmm. uh, they'll sit here. That's pretty much the line the general must sell to the politicians back home, which might be why he's warming up his campaigning skills here. Chai! Chai Fado! Who's got the money today? Alan Pizzi, CBS News, Baghdad. And so 